Hey Las Vegas, welcome back to my channel. Today we visited Winco to see what they were looking like and to bring you some prices. I absolutely love Winco. However, I don't get the opportunity to go there very often. So I'm excited to share this opportunity with you. So let's do this. All right, first up is potato salad. All right, um, I'm not quite sure if that pricing on there is ideal for potato salad. What do you guys think? Yay or nay? Comment below. All right, to me, this is one of the funnest parts of Winco is buying items in bulk. Here we have golden figs. I've never tried a golden fig. I'm not sure what the normal price for golden figs would be. However, $5.78 for a pound of golden figs? I don't know. Is that a deal or no deal? All right, so next up is our dates chopped diced for $2.88 a pound. All right, here we have a sweet flake coconut for $2.28 a pound. Not too bad. Okay, we're now at the organic cane sugar for $1.64 a pound. That's actually not a bad price for organic cane cane sugar. Okay guys, here's the baking soda for 71 cents a pound in bulk. Now it looks like some of this container is missing. That's probably nothing to be concerned about. They probably just haven't filled it. They like to wait until it empties before they refill the containers I've noticed. But uh, 71 cents is hit or miss uh, depending on where you go. Some places you can get baking soda in the box on a good deal. Sometimes an not so good deal. I've seen the boxes range from 50 cents to 94 cents. So it just really depends on where you get it and what you prefer. Powdered sugar, $1.08 a pound. Not too bad. All right, here we go with your cocoa mix for $1.79 a pound. You can't beat that. Usually when I buy a pound of cocoa, it's going to cost me $6.99 or more. It just really depends. You really cannot beat this. Plus, you can choose to have it either hot or cold. Some people like to put milk in there. Some people like to put water. I would definitely use this and stock up on some cocoa mix. All right, now we got the blueberry muffin mix for $1.78 a pound. That is a really good deal as well. The only problem I don't like with the you know, the pancake mix, the muffin mix, the brownie mix, any of it is the fact that it doesn't have directions or how you would go about making that. If anyone has ever used bulk mixes like this and know where you can find recipes on how much you would use in the recipe, uh, comment down below and let me know. I'd really appreciate it. But I do like the idea of buying it in bulk because $1.78 is pretty cheap for a pound. All right, we got protein pancake mix at $3.28 for a pound. I'm not sure on that one whether that would be a nay or a yay as far as money savings or not. I'll let you be the judge of this one. Here's your bulk nut items. All are $3.98 a pound. Here's your pinto beans, $0.82 cents per pound. That's a really good deal. Next up, we have black turtle beans for $1.18 a pound. I have never even heard of black turtle beans. Has anyone tried these before? If you have, let me know in the comments below. I'd like to know if they're any good or not. All right, next up, we have your instant potatoes. Um, instant potatoes, I hear, are in short supply. Some people are unable to find them in their grocery stores. Um, they do have them at Winco. If you have an, a Winco in your area, maybe go there and look and see if they have them and stock up a little bit to make sure that when the time comes, you're not left 
stranded without any. It is two oh six a pound. I don't necessarily find that the best deal, but if it's the only option, I would still. All right, here's your chicken bouillon for two dollars and seventy eight cents a pound. All right, now your pink Himalayan salt, fine. I've actually never seen pink Himalayan salt that is fine. I usually see the little crystals. Uh, this is $1.18 a pound. I don't think that's too bad for a pound of salt. All right, next up is your sea salt for $0.48 cents a pound. That is a really good deal for sea salt. Remember, and almost everything you can get here in bulk, you can use for long-term storage. So keep that in mind. All right, next up we have chicken crayon dog biscuits. I was actually surprised to see how many dog treats and items that they had laid out back there in the bulk containers. This is great if you have dogs. I didn't see anything for cats as of yet anyway. I'm assuming they did this because they're either A, trying to cover up shortages in other areas, or this is just simply another product that they decided to try in bulk and see how it would go. But uh, 208 for a pound is not bad. All right, here's some cheese flavored dog treats for 268 a pound. These are also for your dogs. I wanted to give you an idea of a couple different items that they do offer for your pets in bulk as of right now. Next time I go, I'll get a few more examples for you. Alright, so now we have the peanut butter pretzels for $3.98 a pound. If you notice, the bins do look almost empty. That is not abnormal. They actually wait until it runs out before they refill it. That's what, That way they don't have stuff sitting on the bottom and going old and then creating problems for the new stuff that they put in the bin. If it is out of stock, they will just remove the bin and hide the shortages or fill For all of you preppers out there, Winco does in fact carry August and Farms. And they do also carry a lot of things that other bulk stores don't carry, such as wheat berries. I do know for a fact that they carry those because I've purchased them. On the bottom, I don't know what all those bags are. I believe they're 50-pound bags. I know one is flour. Um, I, spe I was specifically taking pictures of the Augustine Farm so you would have an idea they have a whole stock of Augustine Farms. And they even have the Gamma Lids and the buckets if you need any of those. Unfortunately, I didn't really think to get the pricing on the Gamma Lids and the buckets while I was there. But I will try to make it a point next time I go. Um, as you see, somebody really thought Augustine Farms needed a hug. So she got her little photo opportunity as you see I also threw in a few examples of what August and what they are charging for August and farms over at Winco some of them I've noticed are much higher than like going and just purchasing it off Amazon there may be a difference to that I noticed when I buy off of Amazon, the dates on them aren't for like 25 years to 30 years. Uh, the, the life on them, according to the expiration, is only like 5 to 7 years. So these ones might be the full 25. I'll try to check that out next time I'm there and see if there's a difference. Or, you know, they set their own prices. They may just price them a little higher than Amazon and so that's something to think about I'll see if I can remember to check that out next time I was just happy to see like they started stocking this stuff last time I was in at Winco 
so they they had they didn't have much at that time and they definitely didn't have a whole back wall pretty much dedicated to Augustin Farms. It's really nice to see though just in case uh, you can't find them anywhere else try Winco. You never know. All right, I thought these would be a little fun to add. We have Fruity King mini sodas for 38 cents. I let my girls get a couple when we, when we were there. They love them. They got the red ones. These are a great option for little kids. And they're quite in, inexpensive as well. And uh, I saw four different flavors here. On there. All right, here is your fresh whole bean coffee. They do have a grinder in case you don't have one at home. If you do not have a grinder at home, I would like to suggest you get one. They do come in handy. If you buy coffee, I'm sure there's been some point in your time where you didn't pay attention. You actually accidentally grabbed whole beans instead of the ground coffee. I've done that. So I'm lucky today that if I did, did make that mistake, I do have my own grinder. But I have bought this coffee before here. It is really good. I got the espresso. It cost $6.99 last time I, I got it. I'm sure with inflation, it's probably went up since then. They didn't have a price for the coffee up, unfortunately. So I was not able to get that when I was there. But the aisle smells so good. You guys don't know what you're missing. All right. Now we have your frosted cookies for $3.38. You're saving about 30 or 40 cents buying them at Winco. All right. Now here we are at your single serve coffee. Um, as you know, these are your famous K-Cups. I do actually like the fact that they do this. Most places do not do this and you are obligated if you would like to try a new brand to uh, buy the whole thing. And if you don't like it, you're stuck with it. So I do like being able to buy one or two here of different kinds and being able to test it myself to see if I like it. And then if I like it, I can come back and get it in the whole beans or I can get it in the K-Cubs or whatever. But I do love this that they do this. All right, now we have your pork boneless sirloin for $1.68 a pound. Nowadays, that seems to be a good sale price. All right, here we have your popcorn. I decided to check and see if they had the really big popcorns and they do not and they're becoming more and more hard to find i did get the prices on these for the generic brand it is 376 for the orville redenbacher it's six dollars and 69 cents to me that seems a little expensive i don't remember the exact price i paid for the one we have now a few years ago but i know it was che definitely cheaper than that all right, here we are at the water. I don't normally take photos of the water area because it's been in short supply for quite some time. Pretty much everywhere I go, it's always lacking in a lot of areas. Look at that price, $1.22 just for a gallon thing of water. It used to be 99 cents. In some places I'm hearing it's much higher than that, which I believe is ridiculous. Soda, soda is just like the water. It's been in short supply for quite some time. Sometimes I see it much worse than this. Look, six seventy eight for a twelve pack of Pepsi. Just not worth it. I no longer buy Pepsi or Coke products. Coke's even worse. I've seen twelve packs up to twelve ninety nine and that is just insane. Who would do that? I certainly wouldn't. I'm Melaniza and your beef carne asada. Five ninety eight and three ninety eight a pound. Price seems to be going up for the beef products. It's only going to continue to get worse. Hey, look at that one um, right there in the middle. That one even <laughs> looks like it's uh, been sitting there for a while. I don't know. Finally at the hamburger. This is a very scary sight to see. As you've noticed, there's a lot of gaps in the hamburger. There really wasn't that many left. There is 
However, a lot of 10 pound blocks of hamburger and why you might ask? Because who has the money for $41.08 for 10 pounds of hamburger? Not many people nowadays. Not when you're living paycheck to paycheck and all your other bills are going up. That is just insane. You gotta ask yourself, how are they getting away with doing this to us? Because those who are doing this to us aren't suffering at all. We pay for them to live good, to eat good, while they keep taking from us. If that doesn't irritate anyone, I don't know what does. And I really hope that all of you guys are doing good with all things considered. I bring this to you because I want you guys to see what's happening around the world in other areas because you're not alone. You're not the only one who's struggling. We all are and we need to help each other. All right, here we are at your mayonnaise. Mayonnaise didn't look too bad. Um, there was a few gaps, but there was nothing that was out of stock. All right, here we are at the bread section. Everywhere I go and anyone that I talk to that sends me photos of their bread section, it looks just like this, if not worse. It's horrible to see. Usually they get bread deliveries every day for those of you who are unaware and even on those days I have never seen a bread section look like this and it doesn't matter whether you go in the middle of the night or early in the day or in the afternoon or in the evening there's never gaps like this there's a lot of gaps a lot of empty spots in the bread that should be alarming to everyone not only that but the bread is so expensive your cheapest bread at least costs $2.19 and when you buy it, it's not good for anything other than toast because it's already drying out or going stale. I've heard other stories from other people as well. It's not good at all. They should not be able to, they should not be allowed to sell us products that have obviously been sitting around for a while before it even made it to the shelves at the store. It's just horrible. All right, so here we are at your little Debbie's. There was like one uh, out of stock item here. Otherwise, most items looked fairly stocked, not too bad. However, you still got to be uh, leery about buying items from the little Debbie section. I have gotten those Nutter Butters right there before and turned out to be stale. I couldn't eat any of them. So keep that in mind when you're buying little Debbie's chicken. We have chicken here for $2.88. That's for the chicken breast. And then the drumsticks is $1.48. We definitely have a shortage in the chicken department. And I have seen this at a few places. Some places they just shortened up the chicken area and then threw all the chicken in one spot to make it look like they're doing fine with the chicken. But in fact, you have way less to choose from. Have your creamer. Um, the creamer didn't look too bad this time around. There's a few gaps, but nothing missing really in the creamer. Sometimes I go and you cannot find the original. The original does sell out quite a bit. There is something missing on that side. I'm not sure what belongs down there. But you got like your Starbucks coffees and your teas, I think, or a different type of coffee on the top there. Uh, some gaps, um, but not looking too bad. All right, here is your half and half. We have $1.68 to $2.60, depending on the size that you get. There was a lot of gaps and empty shelves here. All right, here we are now at the cottage cheese aisle. 
Can someone explain to me real quick how cottage cheese gets so messed up? This aisle looks very messy, like someone had ransacked the area. I don't know, maybe that's exactly what happened. I mean, I have been hearing there's been quite a bit of shortages everywhere on the cottage cheese, and we did at Smith's one time buy the last one that they had on the shelf. So I have no idea what's ha happening to the cottage cheese, but we're definitely in short supply. All right, here we are now at your specialty milks, your coconut milk, your almond milk, your cashew milk, and so on. There was definitely some gaps here in the specialty milk, along with some obvious shortages. I have no idea what's going on in the specialty milk department it could very well just be that they aren't buying as much of it because people can't afford as much so they're not buying it as often and they don't want to waste a lot of supplies and have to throw away a lot of it so they are purposely keeping this in lower stock because i did hear that they did have plenty of milk so i don't know what's going on here All right, here we are at the milk. Uh, the 2% is $2.03. The whole milk is $3.99. Why is such the big gap in pricing? I mean, that's a big difference. First of all, I don't even think milk should be $3.99, let alone $2.03. I remember when milk used to be a dollar. Now, they can charge you extremely high prices, yet toss a lot of it right down the sewer. I think businesses should be ashamed of themselves. There's a lot of waste going on, and it's not the people. It's the businesses themselves. You'd be amazed at some of the items that you'll find that these businesses just toss in the garbage. Perfectly good food. Why are they doing that? There's no rhyme or reason that they just decide to toss away good fresh tomatoes or lettuce instead of donating it or allowing someone else to have it. The ones that are dumping the milk down the sewer are not being allowed to give it away or give it to anyone. Why? If they can't use it, at least give it to somebody who's less fortunate. Who might appreciate that three ninety nine gallon of milk you just flushed down the toilet. Doesn't make any sense to me. Why are they doing that? That should be the big question on everyone's mind. People need to start asking questions. Why is it they're not allowing anyone else to have the milk? I want to know. All right, here we are with your eggs. I was actually surprised to see how low the eggs were. I did hear that there was another shortage of eggs. I cannot explain that one. Um, the prices did skyrocket, and then they dropped drastically. And now they're up to $2.18. And I'm sure the excuse for that one will be inflation. So that means the egg price probably will not be going back down. So I would definitely maybe suggest investing in your own chickens and you don't have to worry so much about the eggs. Is your frozen potato section mainly like fries and tater tots and onion rings, that kind of thing? Um, this section actually didn't look pretty bad. It looked pretty stock. There was a few gaps not many i was actually surprised i have seen this section look a lot worse all right here we are now at your frozen vegetables i was actually pretty surprised to see that this was actually fully stocked i didn't see any gaps whatsoever that about does it for this video please like subscribe hit the notification bell so you know when we upload another video I hope you all found this video information useful. Until next time, 
Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.